Hey y'all, I hope you're having a good week. Tommy and I have been super busy helping my parents with some projects around their house. So we haven't had a whole lot of time to work on our own projects. But things are winding down on, on the parents' projects so we can get back to doing our stuff. So let me show you the first thing that I'm going to get started with today since it's cooled off to at least 85 degrees. Not raining anymore either. So let me show you what I'm working on. I really didn't want to have to go to such extreme measures, but this black scale is horrible. I cannot reach all the way to the top. I'm not going to use anything like a pesticide. So I think my only option at this point, see the black sooty mold on here, on a tree next to it, another crepe myrtle. Um, is to crepe murder these this year. I know it's not popular, but I'm just going to chop off the top, throw this away, and then scrub this down and go from there. This bark scale is just ugly. Anyway, I'm going to lop the tops off. Don't hold it against me. successfully committed crepe murder as they call it and now I should be able to take it a but take a bucket and some soap and scrub this thing down and hopefully next year when this thing comes back I won't be dealing with this anymore all of it has gone into the garbage that I could fit can you see it let me Prop it on something. So all of it, it looks like this is going straight into the trash. Yes, I could have used pesticides, but I don't use pesticides. Let's see if you can see across the street. I live on a lake. I have a lake view property. I don't know if you can see right past that fence, straight through there. That's water. And that's water. And anything I put on my yard goes into that water, which is the drinking supply for all of Houston. So, I have me some Dawn dish soap. I'm gonna put it in this bucket and I'm gonna scrub down that bark scale. All 
All right, as you can see by the soap at the bottom, I have scrubbed it from top to bottom. Got as much of the sooty mold off as I could. And now we wait. I'll probably repeat this process in a couple of weeks. But it, it seemed to have gotten rid of quite a bit of it. Whether that means it went into the ground right there or not, I don't know. Most of it I tried to keep in the bucket, which I'll be flushing down my toilet and going into my septic tank. And that's the second battle of the bark scale. If you guys have battled this and successfully won without pesticides in the past, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm all ears. Y'all have a good night.